And hello, here we are. We're getting ready to go live with our Wednesday show here on The Real Estate Show. We got a very special guest coming up. So uh, just stand by as we're getting ready, uh, making all the connections and the uh, intros and so forth. Welcome. There it is. By Capital One Group LLC. Eric Wilman, president of Capital One Group LLC, is a highly trained financial professional. He helps clients to develop strategies for effectively utilizing real estate, mortgages, and related financial products to achieve a more secure financial future. For the real estate investor or the home buyer, he's able to provide expertise in matching the right properties and financing with your specific financial objectives. This show is dedicated to helping you find the safe and simple approach to buying income producing real estate. If you have any questions about the program or to arrange a consultation, call toll free 888 595 7779. That's 888 595 7779. Now, today's edition of The Real Estate Show. And hello, South Florida. Welcome. Welcome to another live edition of The Real Estate Show. South Florida's number one program about real estate and America's longest running daily radio show about the topic of real estate. My name is Eric Willem and I'm your host. And since April of 1999, we have been here consistently broadcasting this radio show, giving real estate investors, homeowners, and anyone interested in the topic of real estate in general, a great source of information and a continuous uh, opportunity to learn more about real estate and uh, the ins and outs. And uh, each day of the week, we kind of take a focus on a different aspect of real estate, uh, starting with our Monday on a Mission show, which is kind of a high level uh, program looking at the agenda of the week and, uh, and oftentimes bringing a very <clears throat> major uh, message that we kind of bring through along the week. Now, for the last few weeks, we've been talking a lot about the COVID, the stimulus package, and everything going on there. But nonetheless, <clears throat> still staying focused on what the main thing, and the main thing is real estate. And so Tuesday, we get down into the nitty-gritty, the, the tools and the techniques and the strategies that we use. This week, we had on our Tuesday a very special guest, the foreclosure man, who brings a lot of insight into that aspect and to the sort of the the backside, the back office of the finance world. <clears throat> and then Wednesday, we, we usually uh, go into our midweek report. We talk about the news and what's going on in the marketplace. But today, I wanted to take a little bit of a different turn in that respect. And, on, and during our midweek report, what I wanted to talk to was uh, a, a very interesting gentleman, an entrepreneur, uh, a speaker, a philanthropist, but very importantly, the owner and founder of one of South Florida's top title companies. Now, title companies are, is an interesting subject because it's usually not the first thing that somebody wakes up in the morning thinking that, uh, you know, what title company am I going to call? How do I even, you know, figure out what the right title company is? But it is an integral and I will even say a critical part of a good real estate transaction. And so no better way to get right to the source of what goes on from a title company's perspective. And, uh, and let me tell you that if you don't have a good title company, you've got uh, lots of minefields that could uh, easily uh, sidetrack a good real estate deal. So to do that, I invited uh, a good friend, uh, someone who I've known for many years. Uh, we've crossed paths so many times in the real estate world. And uh, he's always a go-to person for information and also a cutting edge person. So without further ado, I want to invite uh, Kevin Thatcher, uh, the president and chief executive officer for Independence Title. Uh, Kevin, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic, Eric. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm glad that you took the time, uh, you know, with COVID and all of the things. Uh, one of the things I happen to know is that the real estate market is still busy as can be. And I know that you are busy as can be. Now, you've got an interesting uh, sort of a, a nickname out there, right? Uh, you're known as the Title King. And uh, tell me how you got that. How did you get that nickname? I think it came probably from uh, some of my clients. Uh, you know, just because we're, we're the go-to resource, you know, I get phone calls every single day just saying, you know, we're having a problem and, and we need a solution. So I think I've just become the educational uh, person in, in the industry to, to give just as many solutions to people and be as creative.
creative as possible where typically the owners of the title company, you don't really speak to them. The processors in the title company know how to do their job very well, uh, but they're just not as creative. Like today we had a great conversation with a client that was looking to buy a house using money from his IRA. And I said, wait, hold a minute, hold on. Your lender is not gonna allow you to close in your IRA, but you need to speak with your custodian to see if you're even allowed to use that money because if it's not titled in the IRA, you may have a problem. And lo and behold, uh, he, he reached out and he's gonna have a problem buying his house. He may actually lose his deposit. So I think it's just a matter of being uh, a, a wide array of experience in the industry and just offering that then to our clients made us the leading expert in the industry. And I, you know, I'll, I'll admit, I, I don't hesitate to pick up the phone. Uh, I've called you as recently as a week ago when I had a question when it's title related. You, in, in my eyes, are, are one of the more knowledgeable people. In fact, uh, Kevin is also a best-selling author. Uh, he's he's a, a, a well-sought-after speaker, so it's clear that he has the knowledge. Uh, featured on NBC as well as, uh, as, as in person, uh, you shared the stage with some some of the country's best real estate motivational speakers. Name name a couple, Kevin. Uh, I mean, we've done a lot of foreclosure conventions and stuff. I, I think you may have even been to them, but you know, Frank McKinney locally here, mm -hmm. uh, Omar Perryu, uh, Robert Schumann. Uh, you know, these are a lot of large name speakers that that do platform speaking across the the country, uh, even internationally. Uh, they they've done stuff with, with Donald Trump and Trump University. They've done stuff with Robert Kiyosaki. Um, so very large name people. And I just think it's, it's more about the people you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with good people, you can't not be good, right? You have to be good if you're going to be hanging around these people. So I've been very blessed with the opportunity to be able to be introduced to these people, travel with these people, speak on stage with these people, and, and just be in that sphere, that, that circle of influence. And I think that's what's helped create you know, my success over the last 18 years. And, uh, you know, and a lot of these guys that you mentioned have been around for 18 years and, and longer. So they're, they're household names if you're in the real estate business. Now let's talk about, uh, you know, one of the things that I also think is really important for, for folks to understand. The, this whole pandemic and the way that we do business in the real estate field has changed a lot. Real estate is a very physical business, right? It's about buildings, it's about handshakes and meetings and closings which are in person, but uh, that's all been revolutionized, hasn't it? It has, you know, one of the things that I think COVID has given us, I, I'm not gonna say us because I'm saying just the industry in general, the opportunity to switch to more of an online platform. Uh, but one of the things, you know, I do a lot of consulting when it comes to talking about how to conduct online notarizations and online closings. People reach out to me. Can I help them with it? We've been actually doing it since January 2018. So we've been doing it well before, you know, when COVID hit, everyone was trying to figure out how can we do it, where we've been doing it for two years. And, you know, it's one of those things that you always need to stay ahead of the curve. You always need to think outside the box. You always need to realize that the younger generation, they don't want to spend the time driving an hour to the title company. They just want to buy the house, sign the documents and move in. So I think part of that is, you know, we were cutting edge years ago. We were the first title company in the state of Florida to be approved in order to conduct online remote notarization. So, you know, we were very blessed with being able to do that and we've been doing them ever since. It's a great product. Uh, so as soon as COVID hit, we were already well ahead of the curve. We just said, you know what, office is closed, online remote notarization, we're done. And so talk a little bit about how that process works because I know a lot of people are saying, what, did he say online notarization? I thought you had to have a stamp right there and that guy has to press the paper and, they, and, and the little guy has to write in his book like they do when you go to notarize something at the bank. Talk about that for a second because you know, for you it's old hat. For many people, this is an aha moment. Yeah, I mean, you know, for my clients that are listening, they know the story of NBC where we uh, had a big um, home stealing scam that we uncovered. We worked with the FBI, the state attorney, the Broward Sheriff's Office, the Lauderdale Police, uh, as well as NBC uh, News. And, you know, we uncovered this big scam, which was basically just fake notaries, people that were stamping documents. They weren't really signing proper documents. So, you know, the system that we utilized that was developed is more secure than sitting with an online notary, I mean, than sitting with a, a physical notary. 
So our process is going to be similar to like when they pull, you go apply for a credit card online. Uh, if you've ever done that before, you know you put in your social, your date of birth, all your information, and then it asks you some soft pull security questions that are based off of your credit history. So it's going to ask you maybe a question like, what color car out of these four co uh, colors did you have? Um, what street did you live on out of these four streets or none of the above? So these are things that you would know if it was really you because they're doing a soft pull on your credit. So it doesn't affect your credit score, doesn't show as an inquiry on your credit report. It's just a soft pull. So, you know, we're basically verifying your security and your identity, which, you know, how many times have you sat with a notary? And you're lucky if they even compare the ID with the person that's sitting in front of them. So this is actually a much more secure way where we actually go into a closing room. It's just virtual. It's a virtual closing room. We sit there with, with the notary, which would be someone from my office. The, the buyers are the sellers. We have witnesses that come on the video as well. Everything is recorded. It's all security. Uh, you know, it's all, you know, secured connections and stuff. We record every session. So it actually makes it more secure because think about it. If a borrower signs uh, the mortgage and the note through online remote notarization and there's ever a foreclosure, that video can then be admitted to the court records to show that the person actually signed as opposed to all these people that are trying to beat foreclosure by saying, I didn't sign that, I didn't know my husband took out that loan. So this is actually more secure, uh, I think, and this is changing the way real estate is gonna be done. Absolutely, and, and I think that that's very cool. Do, to your knowledge, has any of this ever been uh, brought into court yet, or is it, is it too new? Well, I mean, not yet. So part of the understanding is that the law was just passed January of this year where remote online notarizations were allowed by a Florida notary. Prior to that, we were using Virginia notary because uh, in Virginia, it was approved to be online. So there was a little question as to whether, you know, the court system was going to accept it, but most people weren't on board. But we were with one of the underwriters, our national underwriter, Westcore, said, you know what, we're agreeing to take the risk. We want to be the first ones out of the gate. We will accept uh, closings based on remote notarizations in uh, the, you know, in, in the state of Virginia. So they agreed to do it. So nothing has been really challenged yet at this point. Um, but I can tell you that the attorneys that I spoke to uh, prior to January were like, no, 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 we don't feel comfortable, are all on board doing it because they don't want anyone in their office now. So no, they're all no. On board to do it. Some of the lenders are allowing cash out uh, and rate and term refinances to be done using it. They're not allowing purchase transactions yet. Um, but that's just a matter of time. You know, same with remote notaries, uh, remote uh, recording, electronic recording, it's the same thing. There were a lot of uh, counties that were not utilizing the system, and the second COVID hit, it's like they all turned on a switch and they all accepted <laughs> now, except for one county in the state, except uh, online recording. So, you know, COVID created an opportunity for people, and those that take uh, advantage of the opportunity are gonna be very successful. Absolutely, you know, and, I, and I've been saying that, you know, in every gray cloud, there's a silver lining and COVID is done in, in this is another example has kind of pushed everybody forward, you know, in terms of technology and how we view. And this is great out of the box thinking. I, you know, just hearing this whole description that you just gave just makes me appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, and I'm watching the feed here on our Facebook Live, and you clearly have a whole bunch of fans, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the folks, uh, uh, John Morgan, Kevin's the best, uh, Jim Van Dyke there, Kevin and Independence title, the best. So uh, I want everyone to know that they're in good hands uh, and, and they should definitely look into uh, your services if they're, if they're in the real estate business at all. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit about when is a good time to talk to a title company. It's not only when you're you know, wanting to go to a closing, it's way before that. We're gonna talk about that, but first we have to hear a few words from our sponsors, take a quick break here. So don't touch that dial, you're listening to The Real Estate Show. I'm here with my friend, my very special guest, entrepreneur, speaker, philanthropist, and best-selling author, Kevin Thatcher. We'll be right back. That was a mouthful. Today's real estate market is full of questions. Eric Mulder so I'm looking here on our Facebook uh, feed here, and uh, we got a nice, nice little crowd here, and uh, and and uh, some really nice uh, comments here. So appreciate that. 
Appreciate you guys listening to the Real Estate Show and uh, and absolutely giving uh, giving Kevin the uh, the props he deserves. Be sure to ask about free property management on select investment properties. Call today for your no obligation consultation and get the facts. 888-595-7779. Toll free, 888-595-7779. Hello listeners, this is Eric Wilner, your host of The Real Estate Show. Hey there. So we got, uh, I can tell we got the Chicago in the house. We've got some California in the house. Hey, Michael from uh, Northern California. We've got upcoming uh, events. And a lot more information. Uh, a whole a host of folks from all over Florida, South Florida now, so but to make it this really is good exciting, stuff. We want your Interesting stuff. Uh, so now we, we're getting a lot of uh, and talk and motion out of Washington, Washington also. And our Kevin Facebook is the best. Carlos, so how are you doing out. tonight? Facebook.com. Carlos De Paula Kaká. You wouldn't happen to be Brazilian, would you? Hey, listeners, listen to any real estate Here in North Carolina from Bethany. Hey, Bethany. Virtual assistance to handle all your land of the home. free, home of the brave. Associated with buying and God selling bless real America. Bless is that team. They so uh, hopefully, uh, speaking of, uh, of God bless America, hopefully uh, we've got the, the two sides uh, working overtime. They don't. They want to go on Christmas on their uh, summer vacation, but they know that no one's gonna be very happy if they go on vacation without. Uh, resolving some sort of an agreement on the stimulus package. Pamela here and Kevin is very knowledgeable. Hey Pam. Foreclosure. Are you or a friend facing foreclosure? At iHeartRadio 21 years, listen to Eric Wilner's The Real Estate Show at 8 p.m. on Ask the Foreclosure Man Tuesdays. Ask questions, get answers from Foreclosure Man. Learn that Foreclosure Man pays highly experienced attorneys to defend your home while you maintain 100% ownership. Hey foreclosure Man attorneys are highly skilled, forcing plaintiffs to substantiate <clears throat> always flawed complaints. Example, was your mortgage So is this a fun time to be in real estate or what? Was your note it is uh, definitely one, one that you have to be awake security. All the, the time. WMD, a weapon of monetary destruction created by Solomon Brothers in New York. The same Solomon Brothers quit rigging the bids to Federal Reserve T-bill auctions. Was your mortgage and note resold multiple times? Were they assigned separately? Tomorrow night we got another special guest as well. And, trust and uh, we'll be talking about some uh, high-level strategies on uh, how to accelerate and pay off your mortgage and save uh, 40 to 50 percent on the interest you would have paid for the bank. Hey, Michael. Just subscribe to the show and we'll definitely be listening to your show. Uh, real estate is on fire right now and super. Thanks, Pamela. Crazy busy. Are you in the business? We're getting ready to come back. One Group LLC in Boca Raton with your host, Eric Wilder. If you have any questions about the broadcast, call toll free 888 595 7779. That's 888 595 7779. Now back to today's show. Here we go. And welcome back. For those of you just joining us, you are listening to The Real Estate Show, South Florida's number one program about real estate, America's longest running daily radio show dedicated to and specifically all about this topic, real estate. And, uh, and, and from time to time, we'll invite uh, some hand-picked, selected guests to come on our show that we believe uh, will really add value and share information that all of our listeners not only want to know, but need to know. Now, as I mentioned, I've known Kevin for quite a while. I happen to know that Kevin uh, comes from uh, uh, the, a background. He's a firefighter. He and I both share a passion for scuba diving, and uh, I want to talk to, uh, a little bit about uh, your past. Let's go backwards a little bit, Kevin. Um, you, where, where did you live before coming to Florida? I was up in New York, lived on Long Island, worked in uh, Times Square at a, at a hotel. I was the director of fire safety and security for a 48-story hotel right in Times Square. And so, uh, so being in stressful situations, and, and I'll tell you, a closing table can be a pretty stressful situation if you're in the wrong hands. Being in a stressful situation is not new to you. 
Now, you wrote a book called uh, Rescue Your Business, and you used the theme, a lot, a lot of what you used in terms of your background in fire safety and so forth. Tell us a little bit about your book. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, one of the things, so just, just to go back a little bit, you know, when I was a firefighter, there was one time I was in a fire, uh, and, and one of the guys saved my life, and if it wasn't for him, I, I wouldn't have probably gotten out. I, I got caught up on the second story of a house as it flashed over on me, and he stayed with me, and I'll never forget the day. Uh, it, it was amazing that, you know, you, you learn that brotherhood, that, that people go in together, they stay until they get you out, you know, no matter what it takes. And that's what, you know, we learned in the real estate business. How do we take that? Because it was my love of being a firefighter, but I had a, such a good opportunity to move to Florida into the, the real estate industry to say, how do we do that within what we do? And we learned very quickly that my passion is going in together and staying in until we all get out. We get in, we go in, we get out, we get paid together. We don't leave anyone behind. So I, I decided uh, many years ago that, that that was just how we were going to build the foundation of our business. So my wife and I you know, run the local title company here. Uh, we have multiple businesses. And one of the things that, that we decided to do, we wrote the book. And we wrote the book, Rest Your Business. And, and it talks about just different strategies of what you can do as an entrepreneur, not just in real estate. Obviously, we love to give it to people in real estate, um, but it just talks about different things you can do in your business to avoid the mistakes that we made. Because I was three quarters of a million dollars in debt. I lost my house, I lost my office, I lost my business, my employees, my wife. I lost everything in the crash of, of 2000, um, probably seven, 2008. Uh, and, and I swore I would never do it again. So I learned a lot of strategies in order to rebuild the business to be uh, a, over a seven-figure business with many, many employees and building great relationships. So I said, you know what? I'm going to open myself up, and I'm going to put it all on paper, and I'm going to just share with you everything that I learned that I never want to do again. But more importantly, I never want to see you do it. And that's what the book's about. And that, and that, uh, and so tell the the book. It uh, was was it the was it the business that inspired the book, or do you think the book that inspired more, uh, you know, a more focus on the business? Um, I, I think it was a matter of a, a kind of a mix of both. Uh, you know, we, we always look for a, a marketing tool, and and one of our things is building relationships. So I'm not a big fan about going to a networking event and giving you a business card. So we always wanted to come up with a unique marketing strategy. So our strategy is we decided to write a book, um, with, which has a much larger cost than, than a business card to it. And we want to make sure we put it in the hands of as many people as possible. And the whole idea is we put it in your hand. If you actually take the time to read the book and do the exercises and, and you become more successful, just like you, you always want to give us a call You know, when you have a question. We expect others. They're going to just naturally want to do the same. As you see people in the Facebook feed, they just want to do business with us. No matter what it takes, I want to do business with Kevin. So they're going to read the book. They're going to learn the strategies. They're going to build a successful business. They're going to not make the mistakes that I made. And now they're going to come to me as soon as they get a closing and say, you know what? I want you to do my closing. And that's the whole idea of it. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, so just before the break, I was talking a little bit about how the, the title company usually is, you know, comes by way. So it's very interesting that uh, once again, thinking outside of the box, you, you think about a book because normally, how do people come to a title company? Usually it's through a mortgage broker, it's through a real estate agent. Seldom do people wake up in the morning and think, you know, I got to call a title company. Yet maybe they should. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you should always have a title company on your speed dial. The problem is most title companies won't speak to you unless there's something in it for them. So unless there's a deal in it for them, they don't want to speak to you. Unless you have a contract, they don't want to speak to you. But I come from the complete opposite mentality. I want to make sure I speak to you now to set you up so you don't make mistakes later. I would rather you call me and ask me the questions now. You know, I put my 18 years of experience into answering my clients' questions because I want to make sure you set yourself up. Like the client I spoke to today, I wish they would have called me before they decided to wire the money from an IRA because I could have had that conversation with them to make sure they did it properly from the beginning. But unfortunately, now a buyer is going to be faced with possibly losing their deposit because they did it wrong. So I'm all about education, and I don't put myself out there to give legal advice. I'm not an attorney, um, but I, I've held a license, a real estate broker's license, for uh, 
18 years, longer than I've been doing title. I was in the mortgage business for a long time. So I have a very clear understanding of every side of the deal to make sure, again, that we go in the deal together and we can leave the deal together because if I don't get paid, you don't get paid. So that's the idea. So you see that philosophy, that firefighter's philosophy is just constantly, it's, it's, uh, it sounds like it's a company mantra and, and I'll bet you that's in the culture of your, of your company as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about how people who want to learn a little bit more about your company. Where's the best place for them to contact you and find out more about you? I mean, you can put anything. I mean, if they're on Facebook, Independence Title on Facebook, on Google, we're on Instagram. Uh, reach out to me. Our website is titlerate.com. On the website, we have our YouTube channel, which has over 200 educational videos. We put it all out there. If you have a question, in fact, now that we came up with this whole IRA, I'm going to record a video tomorrow based on this uh, in our studio. So, we, you know, we try and just educate people as much as possible. So besides our closing cost calculator, we have links to our books. Uh, anyone listening on this can send me a private message on Facebook or, or tomorrow send me an email. I'll be happy to mail you a book. I'll put it in the mail free of charge, you know, just for taking the time to listen to this today. You know, because again, it's about putting this book in more hands. I'm not looking to be successful selling a book. I'm looking for you to be successful by reading the book. And if you're successful, I want to just answer as many questions as I can to get you across that finish line because I truly believe now is an opportunity. I did a post the other day on social media saying, you know, we have the presidential election, we have, uh, you know, COVID-19, uh, an international pandemic happening. Yep. We have uh, stock market was, was obviously, you know, crashed a little bit. The, the uh, real estate market may have a market correction at some point. So you better do something now to set yourself up because we have such a huge opportunity on the horizon that yes. people that aren't believing, that are just sitting on the sidelines, are going to have a big problem. But the ones that are getting involved now and listening to radio shows, Shows like yours and actually out there doing things are going to be so successful. Uh, they're going to look back on this interview in, in you know three to five years from now and be like, wow, that interview, that conversation, that opportunity changed my life. COVID that was, was the greatest thing that ever happened to our economy because it made us sit back, reset ourselves, and now punch forward. And I hate to say this, uh, Kevin, because we could go on and on, but uh, we're out of time. The music is on. The hooks are out. That means that they, uh, they, they got a hard close for us. But I want to thank you, Kevin. That was an awesome, awesome interview. I really enjoyed having you on. We'll definitely have to have you back because there's uh, so much more for us to talk about. But that's it for today. Thanks again, Kevin Thatcher, Independence Title. This is Eric Wilner for The Real Estate Show signing off. Remember, drive safe and make it a great day. For listening to the real estate show brought to you by Capital One Group LLC in Boca that we certainly could have gone on and on. It won't be tomorrow. Part two won't be tomorrow. I'll have to get with Kevin and see what his schedule is like. We'll definitely have to have him come back on. And uh, he's a great interview and certainly brings a lot of knowledge and information. I know him personally, and that's why you know it was easy to invite him onto the show. He was great. Hey, thanks to you guys for, uh, for joining us and for supporting the show and for supporting Kevin. Uh, he's, he just definitely deserves it. So thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Jupiter, Juno Beach, Riviera Beach, West Palm, Lantana, Biloxo.